Hello guys, Luke here from Australian Off-Road. Uh, so I'm inside a Quantum Plus Series 5 today. So um, a video that we haven't done and just to show you in this trailer that we've just built. Um, obviously you can see here we've got the bunk beds in the seating area. Um, so one thing I'll highlight straight away with this is when we're travelling, obviously we don't have the table in. So how this folds down in order to bring the roof down during travel mean that the table's out. So as you'll see, I've got a bit of an assortment um, of materials and parts set up here so I can show you the different methods. But your table, you would tend to store somewhere while you travel. So whether that's on the doona, whether that's under the doona, obviously the two tie-down points that you've got around the bed allow you to strap that to your bed if need be. Um, but just working off what we've got now, if I was to set the bunk bed up, the first thing I'd do is take the backrests off. So these are just Velcroed on, so nice and easy to get off. Now the bunk itself will have two bungees that hold it on to where the table um, rack is, if you like, the mounting for the table to clip onto. So I'll undo both these bungees. This would then allow me to swing this into to, to position. So before I do this, there'll be two poles that prop this into position. So I'm going to get these in first. You'll see the little mounts are at the bottom of the base, so I can clip these in. So these just have a spring-loaded um, clip at the bottom which lock in so obviously once that's in it will not come out but I can sit this into position lock that in like so and then the bed will now lift into position just lifting past these two rails and obviously having the rails in position first allows me to locate this a lot easier so I tend to get them both in line first so then the bed comes down kind of evenly on either side so with this being new sometimes you do have to be a a slightly bit forceful just so everything seats in but that is now locked so both clips are engaged at the top both clips are engaged at the bottom obviously we can see now that we've got a lower bunk where the infill cushions in in place of the table so this is easily removable so we've got bottom bunk we've got top bunk one of the finishing touches would be obviously for this top bunk exactly the same format that we've just done on the two locating rails this will fall into position and this just gives you a guardrail. So for anyone that is sleeping on this top bunk, obviously they can't roll off there during the night. So it is designed more for kids, obviously. The weight limit I tend to work off being about 50 to 60 kilos on this. So you wouldn't want that, obviously, anyone too big on there. The bottom bunk will take a lot more, being that it's got a lot more stable anchor points underneath with your seat bases. So a heavier person to the bottom, light and person to the top. Um, just showing you while we've got this set up. So during the day, let's say if I didn't want to use this and I wanted to pack this away, I'll get rid of the guardrail first. So there is a bit of a trick with these, trying to bring them out somewhat even. Um, so this will be fun for you to watch at home. There we go. So this one comes out first. Once we've popped uh, both the top locks out, as you can see, this one now lift up obviously if the roof wasn't up i wouldn't be able to do this so this really is during the day when you're just inside the trailer you'll see here we've got a little holding lever which um differs around what what options are in the trailer so this particular trailer has got the cabinet in which is short on the seat area and then allowed us to lock it into the top this portion of this cabinet would always be there because it is a support brace for the shower cubicle so really in a standard trailer this would be more of a shelf but again giving us that point where we can fix this too which in turn means during the day, once these poles are out of the way, we can easily sit underneath this and use this as a normal area. So for instance, if I wanted to bring the table into play, I would get both the legs out. So we can move these to the side. The cushion will just lift out. So nothing really drastically has to change there. Table leg will lock in. And then the table itself, once located on the rails, then locate the leg, the table is now in. So obviously, once I put the bolsters back on here, you can then see that we can use this seating area again for if we're sat inside and we want to eat inside or we want to sit and play cards, this becomes a functional seating area again. Uh, one other good thing to highlight with the bunk bed I just quickly swing this down now in the original design and um, this was not removable whereas if you see here i'm not going to drop this down because the table's in but if we have a look at these pins on either side you will see that these pins allow us to remove this bunk 
So if there is certain trips where we don't need it in, um, or we're somewhere stationary maybe for a week or two, and you want to bring it out for the day, or you know, you're only taking one child, for instance, and you're on the bottom area, you can easily take this out just by unlatching both these pins and actually taking the bunk bed out. So that's a real big benefit to the design of what we've done with this, enabling it to be versatile in different scenarios as to whether you need it or whether you don't need it. And um, so lifted, we've got a seating area. And um, during travel, obviously the table would have to come back out, same to how we were set up when we first started this video. So table out, infill in, the bolsters would be the last thing that goes on once this swings back down and locks against the wall. So moving on to bunk bed option number two. So as we can see in this Quantum Plus, we've seen the main bunk beds, which are gonna be in the main seating area. Another option that we offer for those people that have a third child or need that extra bed, and don't really want to take up the seating area, we do offer the option of a bunk bed above the head of the main bed. So you'll see on this one, and um, we've already got it set up. So the mattress is on there. Now we've got a lower profile mattress. So that in turn can stay on when the roof comes down. And um, obviously in terms of pillars and dunas, you tend to have to take that off and pack that on the main bed, but this in turn can stay on there. And um, we've got the same guardrail on the front again to stop anyone from rolling off that. Um, width works really well, so this is 900 wide, so it is a good functional width. Um, and then as you can see, this one's on gastro. So during the day, again, similar format to what we showed you on the main bunk bed in the seating area, we can actually lift this up just to gauge a bit more headroom in this bed area, um, and just to give you a bit more room in that general area. So again, during the day, that can be lifted. Um, even with the guardrail, and that'll stop itself on the strut, so it's not going to go much further than where it is now. And then again, when we want to use this, we can just bring this back down. And obviously the good thing about this design is when the when the actual roof comes down and all this vinyl folds in and the roof's that close to the bunk, it'll actually stop any movement. So the only thing I would have to do in this area in terms of packing this trailer down now would be take the guardrail out, get the bedding off, set that on the main bed and away we go. So we don't see this too often in our trailers, but it's always good to show that option. Um, and just show that obviously we can accommodate a family of five.